Hi, everybody. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Yesterday we started a two-part series on aquariums. Yes, the title for both days, yesterday and today, is the same. Aquariums for everyone and every fish. 我们的中文标题是鱼儿鱼儿水族馆游。All right. I'll read through、uh, part two here on page seventy-five, and、uh, as we always do afterwards, we'll go over each and every sentence to make sure you understand them. Aquariums come in all shapes and sizes, from enormous facilities housing gigantic whale sharks to much smaller ones. In addition to entertaining the public, there are additional purposes that can be seen. In the Paris Aquarium and Japan's Art Aquarium, among the Paris Aquarium's population of ten thousand creatures are fish that are quite common in home fish tanks: goldfish. In fact, the public aquarium's motivation for housing this everyday type of fish stems more from compassion than a desire to display them to the public. This is because the goldfish are actually rescue fish. That is, they come from people who no longer want to keep them in their homes. At the Paris Aquarium, the unwanted goldfish receive better treatment than they would likely get from their owners who have lost interest in them. They are given special treatment if they require it. Such as receiving antibiotics and other appropriate medication. Goldfish are also a main part of the art aquarium, an exhibition that strives to present the animals in the most beautiful artistic way, and which has been held annually in Japan since 2011. The 2019 event, which ran from July 5th to September 23rd. Featured stunning and elaborate displays, quite pleasing to the eye. Organizers said the art aquarium contained the largest ever collection of goldfish, ten thousand. As you can see, the word aquarium can have a lot of different meanings. Their diversity and popularity show the fondness and appreciation for, as well as a fascination with. Aquatic life. Hmm. So aquariums come in all shapes and sizes. This is a great sentence pattern for talking about something that there is a lot of different kinds of something. It's not true that literally every shape and size, but it just means there is so many shapes and sizes that they come in. And then we get an example from two. So from enormous facilities housing gigantic whale sharks to. Much smaller ones. Enormous and gigantic are both two great words for talking about things that are super big. You could say from super big facilities housing super big whale sharks, <laughs> but then you would sound way too much like me, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> 好，我们看到这个句子，他说呢 ，aquariums 啊，这个就是普通名词的复数不加冠词，就泛指泛指水族馆。那 come 啊 ，in all shapes and sizes。那 come 在这里的意思就是 to be sold。贩卖或者是 available 可以取得 in a particular form 啊，以某种特别的形式。好，所以这地方就意思就是说 aquariums 有的意思，有各种的形式。英文可以这样说啊，而且是个很好的说法。Aquariums come in all shapes and sizes。这个句子其实各位可以背起来，你的 aquarium 随时可以把它换掉，换成别的东西啊。Diamonds come in all shapes and sizes <笑>。Also, diamonds are super common. They shouldn't be as expensive as they are. They're only this way because of a monopoly. Ah, ah, actually, diamonds are not not should be so expensive because they are actually not very precious stones. Their value is probably more than that of the people. Okay, so they have all kinds of different shapes and sizes. Then, from A to B, that is, from A to B, there are also other kinds of things. From B to B, there are also other kinds of things. Usually, A and B are equivalent. Okay, so here A is enormous. Facilities housing gigantic whale sharks. That enormous, it is a huge meaning. But we have already mentioned this word. This word, norm, is the standard, is the standard. That E is out. So enormous is out of norm, is extraordinary. The meaning. So enormous is usually suggests. It has a little marked 
excess 啊 ，mark 就是很明显的 excess e x c e s s， 然后 beyond the norm in size or amount， 所以 enormous 它这种大强调是比一般的大很多的意思。I love listening to you explain words. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> 好，所以呢，它这地方 enormous， 那 facilities 就是这些建筑，哈，就是水族水族馆。那 housing house 在这里是动词，然后变成分词，也就是它里面有什么东西，或者是它能够 keep， 它能够这个 facilities 里面可以装或者是容纳什么东西呢 ？Gigantic whale sharks， 很巨大的这个金鲨。那 gigantic 也是大的意思，但是 gigantic 这个字呢，跟 enormous 的差别是 gigantic 这个字跟 giant 有关， giant 是巨人，所以 gigantic 只是说巨大啊，它的 size 好像是 giant 一样，所以这个地方它的用字其实用的很准确啊，因为 enormous 它用来修饰 facilities， 就是一般的水族馆啊，这个大小是怎么样，但是我们谈的是更大的水族馆，比这一般的还要大很多的，叫 enormous。那 whale whale sharks 感觉起来就是巨鱼嘛，不是巨人，它是巨鱼，很大很大的鱼，所以跟 giant 可以联想，所以 gigantic 跟 whale sharks 放在一起，我觉得非常的合适。所以 enormous facilities 跟 gigantic whale sharks， 那虽然说 enormous 跟 gigantic 这两个字都差不多的意思，但是这个用法上还是有这么一点点区别。那在这里是很好的例子，告诉我们它们区别在哪里。好，所以有很大的这个水族馆装可以装很大的这个金沙到。Much smaller, 哈，不只是 smaller， 是 much smaller， 还有小很多的 ones. Ones 就是指 facilities， 啊，所以这个有大有小的意思。In addition to entertaining the public, there are additional purposes that can be seen in the Paris Aquarium and Japan's Art Aquarium. We've been talking about these facilities. Where people go and、uh, calm themselves down, enjoy looking at marine life.、Uh, that is entertainment. But there are additional purposes. There are other reasons for、uh, building these facilities.、Uh, one example we're about to give you is called the Paris Aquarium, and the other is called Japan's Art Aquarium. 好，所以呢，我们看到它 in addition to 除了 entertaining 就是娱乐 the public， 除了娱乐大众之外呢， there are additional purposes， 有一些额外的目的 that can be seen， 我们可以看到有一些额外的目的，在哪里看到有额外的目的呢？在这个呃巴黎的 aquarium，、uh, the Paris aquarium 啊，还有在日本的这个 art aquarium， 在这里我们可以看到这个水族馆有不同的目的。Among the Paris Aquarium's population of ten thousand creatures, so in this group of creatures are fish that are quite common in home fish tanks, goldfish. So amongst the ten thousand creatures in the Paris Aquarium, a few or more than a few are just a very common fish, the goldfish. 好，我们昨天曾经看过一个倒装句啊，那个倒装句是因为主词太长，所以我们把这个补语拿到前面来，拿到 be 动词的前面。那这里又是另外一个倒装句，但这个倒装句我们发现 r 的前面跟后面其实长度差不多。那这个这种倒装句为什么要倒装呢？因为它可以 create different emphasis， 它会把这个句子不同的这个强调的重点把它放出来。好，那讲到 emphasis 的时候呢，英文的句子一般来讲，各位就注意到它最重要的、最强调的部分通常都放后面。好，然后呢，这个最重要通常在句尾，然后呢，句首是次重要，但是也相当重要。所以他这个等于说，他这样把这个句子这个前后倒装一下呢，就让你注意到不同的这个重点。所以我们看到这个句，他说呢，前面这个 among 这个其实是一个呃副词片语哈，就 are among 什么什么啊，所以 among 就在什么当中，在巴黎水族馆的这个 population， 它的鱼口啊，不是人口，它是鱼口哈哈，里面呢，它大概有。一万的一万个这个 creatures， 它那里面有一万的这个各式各样的海洋生物，在这些海洋生物里面呢 ，are 有什么呢？有 fish， 有鱼。那当然，当然是有鱼，所以它这个鱼一定会给你修饰的。这个什么样的鱼呢？这个鱼是大家 quite common in home fish tanks， 在家里面的水族馆里面蛮常见的鱼。然后呢，一个 dash 告诉你 gold fish。所以这个句子最显眼的一个字，读到后来其实 gold fish， 你会觉得啊。水族馆怎么放金鱼？这不是很常很常见吗？水族馆不是应该放一些少见的鱼吗？那家里面到处都有的金鱼，怎么会放在水族馆呢？所以这个句子它就有这种效果。嗯、mm, ，And I love how they emphasize the goldfish by boom the last sentence, the last word. Yeah， 所以它最后一个是，尤其一个 dash， 所以这个句子最强调的一个字就是 goldfish。嗯、mm. ，In fact, the public aquarium's motivation for housing this everyday type of fish stems more from compassion. Than a desire to display them to the public, 
Actually, in fact, this Paris Aquarium, the reason for them to keep or to house goldfish, this everyday type of fish, stems more from uh, the reason is more because of compassion, of uh, a feeling of trying to help others. Uh, we can also call this empathy, mm. E M P A T H Y, E M. P A T H Y, more from compassion or empathy than a desire to display them to the public. So it's not the entertainment or the show for having so many goldfish. It's another reason, a feeling、uh, of wanting to help or protect goldfish. So this sentence, he says, in fact, 事实上呢 the public aquariums, uh, aquarium 就是指这个巴黎这个水族馆，它的 motivation， 它的动机。For housing, he wants this、这个、keeping. He wants to raise these everyday type of fish. So everyday, ah,、uh, everyday. In this, it can be daily, but it can also be ordinary. It means very common. Except everyday, ordinary is one word. Every day,、uh, meaning a routine, is two words. Yeah, to be careful is one word. Everyday, ah, this as an adjective is one word. 如果是当副词的话，就是每一天你每天都做什么事情，这个时候是 every 跟 day 两个字分开来的啊。所以 I got up six o'clock every day. Oh, oh excuse me. You get up six at six o'clock every day. Uh, as an example sentence. <laughs> 啊，所以那个每天早上几点起床？那个 every day 那个是副词，那两个字写分开来写。但在这里呢，它是形容词，所以是一个字啊。所以这种很常见的鱼啊，这样这个水族水族馆要养这种常见的鱼，它的 motivation， 它的动机是怎么样 ？Stems from 啊 ，stem from 是一个片语 ，stem 在这里就是 to caused to be caused by 或者是 come from 的意思。它是来自于它的 motivation 是来自于怎么样？那加了一个 more， 它比较是来自于 compassion 啊 ，stems more from compassion。Compassion 这个字很好记嘛 ，com 就是 together，passion 就是感情嘛，所以 compassion 就是大家感情都一样。I feel what you feel 啊，所以就是一种 sympathetic pity 跟 concern 啊。那其实 sympathetic 就是同情，其实那个 sim 就是一的意思。那这个 p a t h path 就是这个感情，所以也是同一感情。所以 compassion sympathetic 意思差不多。那这个组成的原因也差不多，原理也差不多。好，所以呢，这个主要。他们要养这些鱼是有这种同情心 （compassion）， 而且要各位要注意 ，compassion 是不可数名词、嗯，因为各位可以看到，他讲 stem more stems more from compassion than a desire。你要不要读过去，懂了就算了。你要注意到，哎 ，compassion 它没有加 a， 可是 desire 加了一个 a， 那就表示 desire 在这里是可数名词。desire 这个字呢，它也可以是不是不可数名词，就是 the feeling of wanting something， 那个就是欲望，这个时候是不能数的。可是，如果你讲的是 a strong wish， 你一个很强烈的这个想要做到的事情，这个时候是可以数的，所以这里就是可以数。好，所以各位可以看到 ，come from compassion 啊，这 stems more from compassion than a desire， 或者中间省了一个 from than from a desire 的意思。它来自比较多的是来自于 compassion， 而不是来自于一个 desire， 不是来自于一个欲望。想要干嘛呢 ？To display them to the public。Display 就是展示，所以换句话说，他们养这个鱼的目的不是比较，不是说，哎呀，我展示给大家看，我们好多金鱼哦，不是这样子，而更多的原因，更多的动机是来自于 compassion. So why are we talking about compassion in terms of fish? You know, in Western culture, we actually think fish don't have feelings, <laughs> but that's not true. Fish definitely have feelings, and you definitely should feel compassion for them, just because you can't touch them or whatever. But actually, you can. If you have a goldfish, you can pet them, and it's very cute. Ooh, yeah,、okay. but here's the thing:、um, people don't believe that fish have feelings, and so they feel like it's more okay to abuse fish.、Mm. And so I think it's very interesting that what this Paris Aquarium is doing is kind of raising understanding of people that fish are also the understanding that fish are also animals, and we also need to have compassion for these animals. Hmm. So, fish actually also has feelings. Okay, don't think that fish are just animals. Fish are also animals. So, this Paris Aquarium is doing this because it wants to raise awareness of people that fish are also animals. 这个水族馆做这件事情，让我们大家了解到说，其实鱼也是有感情的。我们也是要注意到，要尊重他们身为动物的权利。So the Paris Aquarium is has a whole section for goldfish, and it's not about displaying the fish. 
And why do they have a section for fish that's not about displaying them? Well, it's because the goldfish are actually rescue fish. They are fish that have been rescued from people who are not taking care of them well. So, a rescue pet is someone who you've is a pet that you've gone to the local、uh, dog pound to rescue from being put to death, and so they're a rescue pet. And these are rescue fish.、Um, that is, they come from people who no longer want to keep them in their homes. Everyone thinks, oh, goldfish, they should be so easy to care for. Actually, goldfish have a lot of needs. And keeping them in a little tiny glass bowl is actually abuse. You need to give them at least、um, a cubic meter of water, I think, per goldfish to be really treating them well. Hmm. Ah, so he says, "This, uh, they why they want to keep these fish? Because these goldfish, they are actually rescue fish. So they are 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 啊，也就是说呢，他们是来自于一些人，这些人怎么样 ？Who no longer want to keep them in their homes， 就是一些不再想养的。No longer 就是他们曾经想养，可是现在不想养的啊，也就是说他们想不想养的。那哎，还好有一个地方可以让他们去。那刚刚 Angela 像刚刚讲说这个 Goldfish 有感情啊，我现在还知道为什么，因为呃，之前有一个同事出国的时候，把他一一缸的金鱼交给我照顾啊，那我就是每天的负责喂他们，也没跟他们讲话，也没什么的。后来一缸鱼等到我同事回来，就剩两只。They all dead. <laughs> 然后我是觉得奇怪，我没 I didn't do anything. 我照照时间喂他们东西。<laughs> The point is you didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah. 所以现在我知道了哈，你要每天要跟他们讲讲话了。<laughs> you have to attend to their needs. Their emotional needs. Not just feeding、needs. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. Yeah, They're animals. They're feeling、that. beings. Yeah, I believe yeah. that.、Uh, yeah. At the Paris Aquarium, the unwanted goldfish receive better treatment than they would likely get from their owners, who have lost interest in them. People who at first think, "Oh, goldfish, cool," after a few weeks, they're not so cool. And、uh, although you may feed them, you don't pay attention to them. Fish kept in tanks or aquariums can easily get sick as well. They develop diseases, and that's when some people will just. Uh, flush them down the toilet,、mm. but in Paris you also have the option of giving them to the Paris Aquarium, where they will treat the fish.、Um, fish doctors uh, will uh, take care of your fish. 啊，所以在这个 Paris Aquarium 这个地方呢 ，the unwanted goldfish 这些哎被主人抛弃、主人不要的这些金鱼呢 ，receive better treatment. 他们受到比较好的待遇啊。注意着 receive 这个动词。好，所以你可以背起来 ，receive better treatment， 就是受到比较好的待遇。Then they would likely get 比他们可能得到的 from their owners， 可能从他们主人那边得到的，可能会从他们主人那边得到的这种 treatment 还要好。好，那这个 owners 怎么样呢？是 who have lost interest in them， 这些主人呢对他们已经失去兴趣了。所以失去兴趣，各位就是这样讲，这些主人呢 have lost interest in them。So they are given special treatment if they require it, if they need it. Special treatment would be things like receiving antibiotics and other appropriate medication for their illnesses,、mm-hmm. or workout sessions, <laughs> <laughs> and just basically probably giving them enough food and water and space. Putting your finger in the water and going around, and they chase it. <laughs> yeah, you know you can train goldfish to shoot basket basketballs into hoops and to jump over. Things. There's a guy that, yeah. Wow. You can Google this. <laughs> ah, so this is hilarious. 我刚刚只开玩笑说让这个鱼做做运动啊，还真的可以啊。这个金鱼，刚刚 Angel 老师说你可以训练它投篮，这个很厉害啊。<laughs> 网络上面有影片。好，所以我们可以看到说 ，they are given special treatment. 啊，他们被给予特殊的待遇。所以我们前面看到 receive better treatment. 这里是 they are given special treatment. 都可以把它背起来啊。If they require it, 我觉得这句很可爱，就是。他们如果要的话，可以给他们 special treatment。不要的话 ，I'll leave you alone <笑>啊。啊，所以 Would you like the spa special special today？ <笑>啊，那个金鱼 ，No No No， I don't feel like it today。啊，那就不要。<笑>啊，这如果我觉得这非常人道啊。你他们要的话，再给他 special treatment 啊。那 such as， 例如说呢 ，receiving， 他们可能会接受 antibiotics， 就是抗生素的呃这个注射啊，抗生素 antibiotics， 或者其他的 appropriate medication， 适当的。Medication 就是医药的，是适当的投药给他们。Appropriate 就是适当的，它的意思是 suitable 或者是 right in the circumstances， 很重要。In the circumstances， 在这个情况之下是 suitable 或者 right， 这个叫做 appropriate。
All right, we've been talking about the Paris Aquarium, and now we're going to the other side of the world, our side of the world, for the、uh, Japan's Art Aquarium. Goldfish are also a main part of the Art Aquarium, an exhibition that strives to present the animals in the most beautiful, artistic way, and which has been held annually in Japan since 2011. Well, I have already stole the thunder from the. Explanation here, <laughs> in Japan they have an art aquarium, and、uh, they also have many goldfish. In fact, many of the goldfish we see today were bred in originally in Japan.、Uh, they've always loved goldfish, and、uh, they're doing it in an artistic way. It's a it's a show, and it is held every year. It's held annually for the past eight years. So goldfish. Are also a main part of 它也是主要的一个部分。什么东西主要的部分呢 ？The art aquarium 就是艺术水族馆。那这个是什么呢？同伟哥告诉你，它是一个 exhibition， 它是一个展览。That strives to present, strives to 就是致力于怎样 ？Strive 就是 make great efforts。它致力于要 present the animals， 呈现这些动物，指就是指这个金鱼啊。以什么样的方式呈现呢？ Uh, present the animals in the most beautiful artistic way. 用最美、最有艺术的这个呃、uh, 方式来呈现这些鱼。And which 就是指这个 exhibition 啊，所以前面是用 that， 这里是用 which 啊，所以 an exhibition that blah 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 and which has been 啊，那这个 exhibition 呢，它是每年举办 ，has been held。被动式，它是被举办 annually， 就是 happening once a year， 每年一次，在日本举办，这从二零一一年就开始了。Now the 2019 event, which ran from July 5th to September 23rd, that event featured or especially showed stunning and elaborate displays. Stunning is something that makes you stop and drop your jaw, like whoa. And elaborate means they're very complicated,、um, and all of them were quite pleasing to the eye. So there, it's basically like an art piece that happens to also have live fish.、Um, I think if you want to, based on the fact that we learned that watching fish is calming, next year I think you should organize a trip to go see this exhibition, and then you can both be calmed and stunned at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so they have a 2019 event. This event, this event, is which ran, is held from July 5th to July 23rd. This event, this exhibition, is featured in what way? It is characteristic. Stunning is very impressive or attractive. And elaborate is very elaborate. 新设计的繁复的 displays 展示，好，那这些东西都怎么样 ？Quite pleasing to the eye, quite pleasing to the eye. 大家也可以把它背起来，就赏心悦目啊。Quite 啊，或者直接讲 pleasing to the eye. Organizers said the art aquarium contained the largest ever collection of goldfish, ten thousand. Okay,、uh, organizers are people who、uh, prepare and arrange matters, especially for a show. Or a conference,、uh, these big meetings of people, and they、uh, put on, if you like, they they、uh, supported the art aquarium, and they had the most ever goldfish in one place at one time. If you can count that high, ten thousand goldfish were part of this、uh, art aquarium. It was all the goldfish. <laughs> yeah, 通通都是金鱼哈。那 organizers 就是主办者。主办者说呢，这个 the art aquarium 啊 contained 他们包含了 the largest ever. The largest ever 就是有史以来最大的啊。那有史以来他们包含了有史以来最大的 collection of goldfish 啊。这个集合就是他们有最大的金鱼的集合，有一万只金鱼。好，那这个地方前面有讲到。这个巴黎那个博那个 aquarium， 它也是一万，不过那是一万，是说它所有的鱼有一万，其中有一些是金鱼。那在这里呢，是一万只都是金鱼，所以是有史以来最大的一个 collection， lar the largest ever collection. So as you can see, the word aquarium can have a lot of different meanings. With this sentence, we're no longer talking about just the the Japan art aquarium show. We're、uh, we're returning to summing up the entire two day article. So we're saying in this two-day article, we saw all the various kinds of aquariums that exist in the world, and so as you can see, there are a lot of different meanings to the word aquarium. So as you can see, 就是正如你所看到的这个字，水族馆这个字 ，aquarium 这个字，它有很多的意义，不同的意义。
Their diversity and popularity show the fondness and appreciation for, as well as a fascination with, aquatic life. Because there are so many different kinds of aquariums, and they're very popular. People like to go to them.、Uh, people are fond about them.、Uh, they feel comfortable around aquariums, and they also appreciate the diversity of aquatic life. Uh, they're even fascinated by、uh, fish and, and other sea creatures. This sea aquarium's diversity, there are many different sea aquariums, different purposes, and their popularity. They're popular. 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 They 就是对于什么的这个呃着迷，那 fascination 后面接的介系词是 with， 所以各位要注意一下这个结构，因为不同的介系词你要分开来讲，像这个地方 the fondness and appreciation for， 然后呢 as well as a fascination with 啊，所以不同的介系词，不同的字跟不同的介系词，那介系词不能丢啊，那后面真正的受词就是 aquatic life， 对于水中水水水中生物的这种喜爱欣赏，还有。这个着迷都可以显示在这个水族馆的多样性里面。Okay, so we have some questions for you about both days of the article. The first one being, what does the writer state may surprise readers? 作者说了什么？他说会让读者感到惊讶的呢 ？The answer is C. Aquariums have only existed for about 165 years. The writer, the reader, might find this surprising. 答案是 C 啊，水族馆它仅存在大约一百六十五年。Two. Which of the following is mentioned about the UK study? 以下关于英国的研究哪一点有被提到呢 ？The answer is D. Viewing fish had a calming effect on humans. 答案是 D 啊，就是赏鱼对人类有安定的效果。And number three, according to the passage, why does the Paris Aquarium have goldfish? 根据本文啊，为什么巴黎水族馆会有金鱼呢？ It's not to display them. It's B because they want to assist goldfish that people want to get rid of. 答案是 B 啊，他们想要帮助人们要弃养的金鱼。Finally, number four, which of the following occurred first in history? 以下何者在历史上最先发生 ？The first is the first answer. A, the fish house began operations. 答案是 A 啊 ，the fish house 开始营运，这是最早的一个水族馆。Okay, thanks for joining us today. We love. Being-